morning again, uh, and welcome. And my thanks to Dr. Kenneng for lending us his uh, facilities. And the purpose of this meeting is to report on a visit to China I had recently. And on July 9th in Beijing, I met with Chinese government officials on behalf of uh, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau to talk about the Liberal Party position on China-Canada relations. And so I wanted to report to you on that and to answer any questions you may have. So the individuals I met were Mr. Kong Pei Wu and Mr. Yu Heng Jun. I might be saying the names wrong, uh, but Wendy has a photograph, if anybody is interested, of that uh, meeting. And I made uh, three points to the two individuals at two separate meetings. Uh, the first is a more general point, and the second two are more specific. The general point is that the Liberal Party, as has been the case in the 45 years since recognition by Pierre Trudeau, 45 years ago, would pursue a consistent policy of expanding ties with China. I think it is true that over those 45 years, the Liberal Party has consistently pushed for stronger ties with China. And when I was in Beijing, I did not talk about the Conservative Party, but I can say it here, that their position on China has not been consistent. It's been up and down like a yo-yo, sometimes being very friendly with China, other times Stephen Harper not going to the Beijing Olympics, keeping the ambassador waiting for six months, etc. So it has not been a consistent relation, whereas ours would be consistent. So that is the first uh, general point. And the other two are more specific, that a liberal, if we were to win the election, Canada would become a member of the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. Uh, we think that is a good move. Right now, most major industrial countries have joined it. The only exceptions are uh, Japan, United States, and Canada. Uh, the major European countries, uh, France, UK, Germany, are all members. And under a liberal government, Canada would become a member. As a set, the other specific point is that we would, if we became the government, wish to pursue a free trade agreement with China along the lines that Australia has done. Uh, Australia uh, now has a free trade agreement with China, so does New Zealand. And I informed the Chinese officials, and they were pleased to hear this, that we too would want to uh, pursue a free trade agreement with China. Uh, I think this is particularly important in light of the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, agreement, which has not yet been signed, but which may be signed which would represent the free trade area in virtually every country except China. It involves Japan, Korea, Australia, US, etc. but not China, at least not at the moment. So we, as a liberal government, would wish to pursue such an agreement with China. And so I think that is those two points, the infrastructure bank and the free trade, are consistent with the general proposition that we would pursue uh, consistent policies to expand relations with uh, China. And so the two officials with whom I spoke uh, responded very positively to this. Of course, it's all dependent on us winning the election, and, and that is completely unknown. But uh, all of this is contingent on that possibility, but we won't know that until October. So that is... Uh, my presentation, uh, pretty simple. I think the meeting uh, went well, the two meetings, and uh, the response from the Chinese side was positive to these initiatives. So at this point, I would be very happy to take any questions. Can I have the first question? Of course. Is it a tradition that uh, the, part, the Liberal, Liberal Party was in China in the election year? I don't know if it's a tradition, but it's what I did. And 
I should point out that because we're not the government, I met with representatives of the party rather than the government because that is the correct uh, protocol. But um, I thought and our party thought that it would be a good idea to go to China to set out our positions on China-Canada relations. And um, this uh, was well received by the Chinese. I don't know if other liberal party members have gone to China in election years. I do not know, but I thought it was uh, an appropriate move. Thank you. Well, I think that by becoming members of the infrastructure bank, it would facilitate entry into this market by Canadian companies. And so in that sense, uh, Canada would benefit. I think the whole world needs more infrastructure both in Asia and in Canada, and so we would be very happy to join that initiative. Do you have an idea that, or, or estimate that if we join the uh, Asian Investment Bank later, not as, as a founder member, what would be the benefit for, the, the scale of benefit for Canada? I think, first of all, we want to be a part of this. We don't want to be boycotting. So just by joining it, we would be not boycotting it, and we would be signaling our agreement and support. So that in itself is of some importance. I also think, though, that there would be potential benefits for Canadian companies specializing in infrastructure construction that they could participate in projects in Asia, and this would have uh, potential benefits for Canada. So I think there could be tangible benefits arising out of this for Canada. But I also think as a matter of principle, we want to be joining this group. We don't want to be seen to be standing aside and boycotting this group. But there's also a pros and cons for the global political relations because about the Asian Investment Bank, you can see that the US and Japan, they, they do not join the, the, the group. So, and um, Canada, we, 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 have, we have to see that we have a very close relationship, we cannot economic relationship with the U.S. Then when we join the Asian Investment Bank, will that harm our relationship? I don't with think so. I was the Defense Minister of Canada when we said no to the U.S. invasion of Iraq under George Bush. So we were clearly going against the United States policy in that case. We almost, we usually agree with the United States. The United States is a great friend and a great ally, and as you say, we are very dependent on the United States. But it doesn't mean that we have to agree with them on everything. And on one really major point, the Iraq invasion with Saddam Hussein, we said no, and the relationship remained good. This is much more minor difference in comparison with not going into Iraq. So the United States may disagree with us, but I think we are a sovereign country, and we could still maintain good relations with the United States, even if we join. It may be the U.S. might join one day. Uh, they have not completely ruled that out. It's possible that the United States might join this bank at some point. I do not know, but it is not impossible. So um, if, if they will win the election, yeah. how long will it take? To join the Asian Investment Bank? I don't think it would take long. First, yeah, we have to win the election. Okay. <laughs> but if we win the election, I, I think in a matter of months, I don't think it is a complicated thing. I, I, free trade is much more complicated. I think the matter of the infrastructure bank could be decided in, in a small number of months. I think the free trade agreement is much more complicated. In the case of Australia, it took them 10 years to negotiate it. Uh, since Australia has already done it, I don't think it would take 10 years, but the infrastructure bank would be a matter of months. The free trade agreement would be a matter of years. Do you have the financial strength to join? To yeah. join what? Uh, AISP. Of course we do. Uh, you don't have to present your financial credentials in order to join. Uh, we're welcome anyway. But Canada is among the strongest countries in the world in terms of low debt and strong fiscal capacity. Uh, thanks to Paul Martin and Jean Chrétien, we turned a huge deficit into a surplus. We paid down debt for 10 years. So as a consequence of all that, 
Canada's fiscal position is very strong. That is not a condition for entry into the Asian Infrastructure Bank, but it would give us more flexibility because of our strong economic position. 